Hello, everybody. Welcome to another time for another Daily Devo for Wednesday, March the 3rd. We're moving right along. Video number 282. Today, we're going to be living in the real world. And that remind that title, before I get to the verse, that title reminds me of a song I just thought of before I started the video. It's uh, by Alan Jackson. He's a country music singer in Nashville. And uh, he had a song years and years ago when he first started. It's called Here in the Real World. Um, I'll try to put a link to that. I'll try to share the link or something somewhere. Go to my um, Facebook page and I should be able to share the link into my, I don't know, into my, into my post when I share this video. I hope you didn't hear that. I hate when I'm recording and somebody revs their motor up over here behind this. Stupid. Take it. There. Shut it off. But look it up. YouTube. Any music thing. And listen to it. It has, it has some real, real meaning. I'm going to sing just a little quirk of the beginning of the chorus. It says, Here in the real world. It's not that easy at all. Cause when hearts get broken, it's real tears that fall. And that that's basically all I'm gonna do. Because the rest of it don't have nothing to do with this. But it says, here in the real world, it's not that easy at all. When hearts get broken, it's real tears that fall. But it goes on to say it, it's the ending of the chorus is you no know, it's all not always the in the real world the boys don't always get the girl like in the movies like it says in the movies when the boy always gets the girl or the girl always gets the boy it don't happen in the real world like that real boys don't always get the girl in the real world <laughs> you know but today we're going to be doing, we're starting with Isaiah 65, verse number 17. It says, For behold, I create new heavens and a new earth, and the former shall not be remembered nor come into mind. So, hang on just a second. I got a loud helicopter coming over. I don't want to take up the noise. So just give me just a few seconds and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it gets loud when it gets. Oh, when I'm outside, it's loud. And inside, it's fine. I can hear it go go over the house, but in the outside, it's a little rough. I think I believe that was the uh, one of those um, hospital um, helicopters. It's the one they they have at uh, Shands Hospital in Gainesville, Florida. It's uh, it's the um, yes, yeah, the air ambulance like. So it says, people often think that they are being practical when they place material values ahead of spiritual emphasizing that we have to live in the real world. The fact is, however, that we are not living in the real world at all, but in a world that is dying and soon will be gone. 1 John 2.17, the world passeth away and the lust thereof, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Okay. Sometimes it just uh, it takes a lot out of me. Ah, Whew. puts a lot of strain on my on my back when it's sitting. And I'm not and I'm not sitting that thing. It's just like I just feel like we're just down and yeah, that makes that's better. But talking about the helicopter wall go, the Shans 
helicopter. It went over just a few minutes before I started the recording. Prior to the recording of Monday's video, when I started recording it, the, it went over. So it just came back over just a few minutes ago. So probably going to going to the Leesburg Hospital, pick somebody up, and taking them to Gainesville. So. Go Gators! <laughs> Every time I say Gainesville, go Gators! Because <laughs> that's my college team. And it always will be. Win, lose, or draw. They're my, they're my college team. It's like win, lose, or draw. That's my NASCAR guy. Win, lose, or draw my high school. East Lawrence Falcons in East Dublin, Georgia. Go Falcons. Yeah, and they have the same... Same... Mascot as the pro team Atlanta Falcons. Ah, I, I pull for Atlanta every now and then. I don't. I'm not. A, I'm not a diehard fan, but when they win, I say, Ooh, "Okay, they won." And when they lose, I'm fine. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I don't mind. I'm not like, "Oh man, they lost." Oh man. Like, when they going to win good? But when they win, it's like, ooh, they won. Oh, they got screwed a few years ago at the Super Bowl. I hate to put down Tom Brady, but they got screwed a few years ago when they went to the Super Bowl for the second time. They had that game. They had that game at the beginning of the second half. There was no way that New England could pick up their game and win that game in that second half. But something happened to where it seemed like Atlanta was paid to lay down and let New England win that game. But it was Atlanta's game. They had that game locked up. But then something happened. That's all I got to say about that. I'm still PO'd about that one. That was some, I still support them, but and congratulations to Tom Brady winning, winning his seventh Super Bowl ring. That was unreal. Changes teams and gets the team to the Super Bowl, wins the Super Bowl. Now, what do you think about that? That's that's a, that's that's not something. Something went wrong there to make sure Tom Brady wins. Tom Brady's a good quarterback. Don't get me wrong. But it seems like when he's playing, everybody's got to hand him. He's, he's got to be the greatest. It was either him or Peyton Manning when they was in, when Peyton was in the... Sorry, sorry for my little roasting like that. But Let me get back to this. It says, This is not even the world that God created. For that... For that world was very good in Genesis 1.31. And because sin entered the world, and death by sin, Romans 5.12, therefore the whole creation groaneth and travaileth in pain together until now, Romans 8.22. And in fact, this world is not even as it was soon after God's curse. For the world that then was, being overflowed with water, perished, 2 Peter 3.6. So the world that was, was covered up in the flood, was was destroyed in the flood, and then the world after the flood is what we got now. Because the world got so out of hand, he just said, "It just destroy it all with with the flood, and start over." And then when we started over, it got out of hand again. It's starting to get out of hand now, so. Just be prepared, people. So the present post-flood world is now under the dominion of Satan, who is the prince of this world, John 12, 31, and all the kingdoms of the world, Matthew 4, 8. And the Lord Jesus Christ came to deliver us from the present e from this present evil world, Galatians 1, 4. And as our, the beginning verse says, this world shall not even be remembered nor come into mind. It shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption 
into the glorious liberty of the children of God. Romans 8, 21. So therefore we must be, we must be not conformed to this world. Romans 12, 2. We must live soberly, righteously, and godly in this present world, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Titus 2, 12 and 13. So in the meantime, our true citizenship if we have been born again in Christ, is in the real world to come. And we are his ambassadors to an alien land. 2 Corinthians 5.20 So basically what he's saying, this world we're in now, is not the real world, people. The real world is with God. Amen? That's all I have for today. Whew. It looks weird. New book and having the top of the page be so dark because of the ink. There was too much ink got, got on that page. But tomorrow, March 4th, Thursday, March the 4th, and video number 283, we're going to be having fellowship in the gospel. I don't know whether I'll have any Siri, uh, multiple Siri videos in this book or not. I just have to wait and look. One night I said, be just looking through my book and it's like, oh, okay, okay, okay. But we're going to fellowship in the gospel. We're starting with Philippians 1, verses 3 through 5. I haven't seen re really March. There's really nothing in March. Nothing jumping out at me in March except for the the hymn. Um, got one on the eleventh of eight thing. We got seven words. So that's a list. First day of the week. On my birthday. Whoa. The birthday passage. Ooh. Okay. God is spirit. God is holy. So that could be a two part a two day two parter. That could be something. Be a little special thing. God is omnipotent. Oh there we go. That could be God is omniscient. Oh wait a minute. Wait a minute. We've got a bunch of them coming up saying God is. That could be one. That could be a multiple series. Ooh! Let's see if any of them show up in May. God is love. Okay, there we go. God is triune. There we go. Oh, there's another one. The page was darkened. What is the 27th? Never too late. <laughs> That'd be a year right there. Never too late. May 27th. Oh, that one's got too much. Hmm. And then Memorial Day will be on the last day of May. May 31st. And she's on the last Monday of the month. In May, in, in May, so. But I just saw what? Four, five, six of them? The same God is? That's a good series. It looks like it's coming up. So stay tuned. We'll get to Fellowship in the Gospel tomorrow. I'll get to that in just a few minutes. But with that said, I love you and I appreciate you. Sorry for the little rambling at the end. But keep on keeping on and trusting God trying to stay safe and peace out until tomorrow everybody <whistles> goodbye god bless and have a great rest of your wednesday and a great rest of the rest of the week goodbye